everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Tonight we are going on an awesome trip. I am very excited to bring you all with me. We are going to Lima, Peru. I think the last time I was in Lima, Peru was three and a half years ago. This was before I even had a YouTube channel. So yeah, let's just go and have a great time. Lima, Peru. The flight here was six and a half hours long and there actually was a little bit of turbulence sprinkled throughout the whole flight. But other than that, it was fine and we were all safe. We didn't get to our hotel rooms until 2.30 in the morning. So as soon as I got here, I just knocked out and it is 9.18 right now. And I just dragged myself out of bed so that I can get free breakfast before they close. All right, I am leaving now to head down for breakfast. And I forgot to mention to you all that, oh, which way am I going? I'm lost, I think, from this way. Okay, yeah, I forgot to mention to you all that here in Lima, you are required to wear either a KN95 mask or two surgical masks while you are indoors. So right now I have on two of the regular masks. I need to try to find one of the other ones. But anyways, yep, that's just the rules here. Breakfast was absolutely fantastic. 10 out of 10. I just came back up to my room, took a shower and got ready. And do you see this? I'm in a sweater right now because it is actually, well, to me, it is cold outside. It is, let me look up the exact temperature. It is cloudy and 61 degrees Fahrenheit out. Because Peru is in the Southern hemisphere, their seasons are opposite to ours in the US. So their winter is actually from June to August. And I remember the last time I was here, it was in December and I was able to walk around in a tank top in shorts. It was so hot out. So it's kind of cool that I get to be here for both seasons. I'm about to head out. And the first thing I want to go do today is hit up the Inca market and do some shopping. No sé que tu ves en mí, mi amor. Ya no dejes de mirarme. Que ya me gusta quien soy. Contigo me siento en control. Eres el balance en este mundo poco humor. Se volvió ese chico que hablo en mis canciones Esas madrugadas y hermosas conversaciones Se volvió ese chico que quería ver otra vez Y me enamoré a volverlo a ver Let me show you guys everything I got from the market I bought four of these beautiful alpaca wool scarves. They are seriously so soft. I also just love being able to shop from locals on my travels. And now before anybody says anything, because I know someone probably will, these are all cruelty free. It's actually good for the alpacas to get shaved, especially in the summer so they don't overheat. Alpacas are actually treasured and very important to Inca culture. I also love the size of the scarf. It is just so beautiful and cozy. I am actually getting ready to head out again. So long story short, my mom was a foreign exchange student here in Lima, Peru. Her host family still lives here. So the last time I was here, I got to meet up with one of her host sisters and her daughter, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to meet up with them again today. Her name is Melissa, and she is coming to pick me up. We're gonna go grab lunch and then go do some touristy things, and I've met them a few times before in the States, so it's just really cool that I get to hang out with them again, but I am definitely wishing my mom was here too.
We stopped at a mall in Miraflores that had a fabulous Italian restaurant. We just had some amazing food with gorgeous views of the sea. And now I think we're gonna hop on a tour bus so we can see more of the city. got on the tour bus and there's not many people here as you can see <laughs> and um, now we're gonna go see some cool sights it was a really good day siempre okay fuma mucho mari so I feel lost in space it was a really good day me llama de la tres de la mañana viene con tu drama 99 problems me ahogo cuando trae más we are getting off of the bus now to start a walking tour Our tour on the bus was amazing and now we have come to an area called Barranco and we are actually about to cross a famous bridge and Melissa was telling me that you're supposed to walk on it, you stop and you breathe in. Yes. And then you make a wish. Yes. <laughs> a romantic wish. A romantic wish. Yes. Okay, so let's go make our romantic wish. <laughs> so here is the bridge. This whole area is so beautiful. So now I have to take a deep breath and make my wish. <sighs> okay. <laughs> We just got to a steakhouse called La Cuadra de Salvador and this place is so cool. morning everybody it is currently 5 30 a.m our pickup is in 15 minutes for us to head to the airport and work the flight back to dfw so real quick i am just doing a room check to make sure that i have all of my stuff or at least most of it picked up and ready to go the yeah, bathroom looks clear i still have my backpack and a pillow on the bed oh i should probably hang this back up but anyways i had such an amazing day Day. yesterday I am just so grateful that my mom's host family was able to meet up with me and show me around it was just such a fun day it filled with great food great company and just an awesome time but for some reason throughout this trip I've just been feeling really homesick and I feel like I don't talk about this a lot on my channel but there are definitely times where even though I'm having a lot of fun at work or on my layovers I do really miss Eric and Luna a lot and this was just one of those trips where I'm just missing them extra hard but but with all of that said, I'm only about a half a day away from being home. So let's go work this flight and have a great day. just got back to DFW. Our flying time was actually longer than we originally anticipated. I think there was an extra half hour, maybe 45 minutes. So the flying time was around seven hours-ish because we had to go around some storms. Uh 
as you can see, it is pretty cloudy. That looks like a really dark rain cloud. And I just heard some thunder over there. Ah, I don't know if you guys will hear that, but I just heard some more thunder. But other than that, the flight was good. And now I'm just really excited to be heading home. <laughs> Hi, baby. I know you all are probably wondering if I bought a magnet from this trip and I did not because there it is. I knew that I bought one last time I was in Peru. I just got out of the shower and I'm hanging out here with Miss Luna. Hi, baby. Oh, yes, thank you. <laughs> you wanna say hi? You were just so cute, Luna. Oh, she's starting to get some white around her nose. It makes me so sad. You're growing up, Miss Luna. You're still so cute though. Look at you. Yeah. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> I am so tired. <laughs> I think Eric and I are going to have dinner and continue watching the show The Sandman on Netflix. It is so good. But I am curious how many of you have been to Lima, Peru and how many of you have been to Machu Picchu in Cusco, Peru because that is on my bucket list and I just think it looks incredible. I couldn't go on this flight attendant trip because you have to take another flight from Lima to get there and I just would not have had enough time to do that, but I really wanna go one day. But anyways, I have a few days off at home now, so I'm going to rest, relax, and enjoy that. So I'm going to conclude the vlog here. Thank you everyone so much for watching. If you liked it, please give me a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe because I would love to see you in future videos. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.